Hey guys, it's Joanna here. So for today's workout, we want to focus on toning up the back muscles and also getting rid of back fat. We all know that we cannot spot reduced fat, okay? So this workout will also work on your total body. It's going to combine a 45 seconds of back exercises with 45 seconds of active rest. So you will constantly be moving throughout the entire workout. So get your body warmed up and let's do this workout together. So for this workout, you will need two pairs of dumbbells, one heavier weight, I would say between six to eight kilos each, and one lighter weight, just between two to three kilos each. If you don't have a pair of dumbbells, you can always make your own at home, okay? So the first workout will be bent over row. So let's start with the pair of heavier dumbbell, okay? So stand shoulder width apart, and I want you to pull and squeeze your back muscles, bring your elbows up, squeeze towards your belly, and just Hold it for one count, lower it down, up and down, okay? So avoid hunching or collapsing your chest. Always keep your back flat, open, and squeeze your back muscles. Good. So we want to be doing this for 45 seconds. Do not rush the workout. Really feel every muscle being engaged. Good. Squeeze, hold it. Squeeze your back muscles, bring your elbows back. Nice. Keep going. Few more, release slow, keep the weight close to your thighs. Squeeze and just drop it. Let's get straight into jumping jacks. So this is your 45 seconds of active rest, okay? So we want to constantly be moving throughout the entire workout. Good. And this is when you can sort of like slow down, catch your breath, just breathe a little bit. Remember, breathe in, breathe out, and pace your breathing. Second workout will be plank row. So still on the heavy weight. Keep going, 15 more seconds of active rest. And then back to strength, training to work on your mid back. Five more seconds, good. Now let's get down onto the mat, all right? Into a plank position, all I want you to do is pull the right arms up, squeeze your back muscles and then alternate with your left, okay? This is a more advanced version. If you find this to be challenging, what you can do is drop onto your knees, pull and squeeze. Good. So your body should always maintain flat on the floor. Keep going and as you progress, lift and pull and squeeze. So do not over arch or do not stick your butt in the air. Keep your body flat, pull and squeeze your back muscles. So this workout also really work on your core strength. Good. Bring your elbows back, squeeze. Nice. And now, drop the weights. Second set of active rest. Shuffle to your side. So shuffle, touch down, shuffle and touch. So ladies, remember, we cannot spot reduce fat. All this workout will work on your total body. At the same time, it's going to tone your entire body up, especially your back muscles. Keep going, good. The third workout, let's lift lighter. It will be focusing on your upper back, reverse fly. 10 more seconds, stay low and tap down. Keep going, stay low, tap down. And let's grab the lighter pair and stand. Bend from your waist, open and squeeze your upper back. Bring it back down, slow. Open and squeeze, good. So the focus is to really focus on your upper back. Bring it front, open and squeeze. Very nice, keep going, squeeze. Hold for two counts, right at the top. Squeeze, engage, bring it back down. Squeeze and back down, good. So remember, do not rush the movement, okay? Control, engage and Feel your muscles working. Good. One more. Give me one more and it's back to active rest. So put the dumbbells down and let's just sprint on the spot, okay? So run as fast as you can. Work on your legs, work on your heart rate. Bring your heart rate up, all right? Small but fast movement. Good. Keep going. Breathe in and breathe out. Pace your breathing. Listen to your heart rate. Woo! 
I can feel my heart rate pumping. I can feel my sweat dripping. And my favorite words are, sweat is your fat crying. Keep going, keep running. Last 10 seconds, bring the speed up. And one final workout, which will be on the floor. Right, let's get onto the floor. Lift the lighter pair. I want you to work on Superman and back squeeze. So bring the weights up and squeeze your back. Back, down, good. Up, squeeze, release, down, good. So this will work on your upper back, your mid back, and also your lower back, down. Up, squeeze, and down. Very nice. Last one, not last one, last few more. And down, up, squeeze, extend, and down, good. If you find this to be challenging, release the weight and just do it without any weight. As you progress, then lift some weight, okay? Few more, keep going. And the final workout, stay low. Let's work on mountain climbers. So last 45 seconds, keep your heart racing and we will get a one minute break. Good, bring your knees in, keep your back flat, arms in line with your shoulders. See your sweat dripping on the floor. Keep racing, let's not stop now. One last active rest and you will get a one minute break. Woo! Breathe in and out. Keep going ladies, stay strong, stay with me. Keep racing and well done. That was your first set. Now I want you to grab some water, keep yourself hydrated. Inhale, exhale, bring your heart rate down. And we want to do the second set, all right? So get some water and keep yourself hydrated. So this is your second set. You know all the moves, okay? So I want you to move from one workout to the next workout as efficiently as possible, okay? Let's not waste time. So the first workout will be bent over row. So grab your heavier pair of dumbbells. Let's get into position. Remember to always bend you from your waist. Keep your back straight, chest up. Keep your knees soft and let's go. Pull towards your belly, release. Squeeze your back muscles. It's all about engaging the right muscles. You should feel your mid back working. Good, keep pulling, keep the weights close to your thighs, okay? Nice, squeeze and release. Breathe in and breathe out as you pull it back up, okay? Breathe out, breathe in and breathe out, good. Pace your breathing, the better you pace your breathing, the better you will be at your workout, nice. Keep going, Whew. squeeze right at the top, bring your elbows back, look, gently at the floor. Few more and straight into jumping jacks. Weights down, let's go. Jumping jacks, good, okay? Push it, really push it. Take this moment to really bring your heart rate up and work on your cardio. Nice, total body workout, it's always the best way to burn fat and also to build lean muscles. Good, keep jumping, halfway there and we want to get straight into plank row. Woo! Tighten your core, bring your arms up and down. Nice, 10 more seconds. Feel your heart rate pumping. And now, let's get down onto the floor. Bring the weights close to your body into a plank position, pull and squeeze your back. Keeping your body as straight as possible. Again, remember beginners, you can always start on your knees. Good. You can step slightly wider to find your balance. Squeeze. This is not an easy workout, but it is really effective on your core and also your back muscles. This is one of my favorite workouts. I will always do it every week. In fact, in every workout session that I do. Keep going. Pull towards your belly, squeeze your back. Release gently and drop. Few more, 
and it's straight into your active rest. One more and drop it. Let's go. Side to side shuffle, okay? Touch down, stay low and touch down. Good. Shuffle, feel your leg muscles working and just gently tap down. Get into a deep squat and tap. Woo! And the next workout, grab your lighter pair of dumbbells. Tap and breathe. Good, keep those leg muscles strong and feel your butt working at the same time. Good, tap, keep moving. Last one, and now grab your lighter pair of dumbbells and let's get into reverse fly. So same thing, bend from your waist, open and squeeze your upper back and also your shoulders. Squeeze, release gently in front of you, squeeze and release. All right, remember, do not ever hunch or collapse your back, okay? This is wrong. Open, chest up, back flat, squeeze, engage, tighten your core, squeeze and engage. Good. Up, hold, release low. Up and release. Good. Because your upper back and your shoulder muscles are small muscles, so you will need only a lighter pair of dumbbells. A few more. One more, and release. Right, in position, let's sprint as fast as you can, okay? So, small movement. Again, back flat, arms by your side. Work on those legs and sprint as fast as you can. Good. Woo. Now, this is the time to really listen to your heart rate. Keep pushing it. Yes, I know it's not easy. You want to catch your breath, but keep going. Only 15 seconds left. Let's go. Keep your calves muscle strong. 10 more seconds. Keep going, ladies. And we want to get straight into Superman. Down onto the floor. Okay? You can either choose to grab your light to grab dumbbells or do it without any weights, okay? So up and squeeze. Woo! Down. Up and squeeze, release, and down. Up, legs up, squeeze, release, and down. Good. Up, squeeze, release, and down. Again, option, up, squeeze, release, and slowly down. Feel your lower back as you come up. So really bring your legs up, your body up, look straight ahead, and squeeze your lower back muscles. Keep going and release. If you want to, grab your weights, squeeze, up and release. Good. One final workout. My mat is filled with my sweat. Let's go. Mountain climber. So bring your knees towards your chest and imagine you're climbing up the hill. Keep going. All right, elbows, shoulders in line with your hands, okay? Keep climbing. I can just see my sweat dripping like it's raining. <laughs> Keep going. Woo! One last workout and you're done. Right, 10 more seconds. Let's bring it up. Let's not stop now. Bring the speed up. Do not stop now, okay? Keep going. Three, two, one. Oh, and just take a moment to breathe and rest it out. I hope you enjoyed this workout and I hope you're drenched in sweat just like me. Remember that the most efficient way to build lean muscles and also to burn fat is to combine both strength training and also cardio exercises. This workout is really short but it is really efficient because you're doing the entire sequence non-stop. So for best results, do this workout three times weekly on alternate days and you can combine this workout with my other workout videos which you can check it out right here, okay? So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to share with your friends, get your friends to do this workout, like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel for a lot more workout videos and also healthy recipes. All the best!